on, please. All right. So Chris already volunteered for Proctor. Who wants to be Judge Danforth? Yeah, All right, Lauren. Yeah. It's your southern accent. Very appropriate. Uh, we're on page 635. Yes, page 635. Uh, Mika, who do you want to be? Francis, all right. We've got Attila. Maybe Hawthorne. Mika, who do you want to be? Paris, all right. Your favorite character. Mary Warren, Trish, do you want to be? Mary Warren. Mary Warren. All, right. All right, so let's give a quick recap. Yeah. Um, all right, so we move up here then, actually. Anyone else not have someone they can look over with? Yeah. All right. Uh, so what just happened? Yeah. Uh, at least, is someone sitting there? Who moved? Me. Oh, okay. Um, will you, let's see. Uh, you can sit here with Chris, actually. All right, so what were we just talking about? I know it's been a few days since we've read. So we were just talking about Cheever mentioning that John Proctor plows on Sunday. What's that matter? Yeah, Jeremiah. Is that a voice? Yeah, his job. Yeah, exactly. Feeding his children. Yeah, exactly. So right now we're kind of considering basically John Proctor's evidence. He's coming to the court, right? Where, where are we located right now in the scene? In the court hall. The hall. It's, it's kind of a hall. It's more like the like the entryway, right? The meeting room at the beginning of the, of the courthouse, basically. Uh, all right, so we are on line 127. Judge Danforth. I judge nothing. Pause. He keeps watching Proctor, who tries to meet his gaze. I tell you straight, mister. I have seen marvels in this court. I have seen many people choked before my eyes my, by tears. I have seen them stuffed by pins and slashed by daggers. I have, until this moment, not the slightest reason, not to suspect that the children may be deceiving me. Do you understand?